Hi, my name is Mohammad Razali Khan and in this video, I'll show you how you can create your own snippets in Sublime Text. At the end of this tutorial, you will be ready to write your own snippets with custom tab stops. Snippets are reusable chunks of code that you can use to speed up your workflow. Let me just show you some of the snippets I've made for my workflow. I have a snippet that creates an opening section comment for HTML. Whenever I want to use that snippet, I just have to type in the keyword associated with that snippet and uh, the moment I hit the tab key, it expands it into that HTML section comment. Let me just write out the keyword. It's uh, hsec for HTML section. As I said, when I hit the tab key, it expands it into a comment. It has also highlighted some part of the text which is really useful for me because I can go in and write whatever I want in place of that text. Once done, I'll hit the tab key and um, I'll move out from this block of code. Let me just show you how you can create your own snippet. I'll go to Tools, Developer, New Snippet. Just immediately you can notice that all of this is enclosed in a snippet tag and um, inside that snippet tag there is another tag named content. The expanded version of our snippet will be placed in place of this just between the C data and uh, square brackets. All you have to do is uh, just remove this and um, type whatever you want. So as an example, what I'll do is I'll create a class. Background color is red. Display block and uh, width is 100 pixels and height is 100 pixels. What this snippet is going to do, it will replace my keyword with all of this. To associate a keyword with this block of text, I'll have to uncomment this line by pressing command or control forward slash and uh, type the keyword that I want to use as a trigger to that block. So I'll write box CSS. Okay. The scope is kind of optional. It just confines a particular snippet to a file format. Like in this case, if I'll save this file with the same scope of uh, source.python, this snippet will only work in Python. But as this snippet is related to CSS, all I have to do is type CSS, source.css inside the scope tag. And uh, this will help me specify that this snippet will only work if the file type is CSS. But for now, I'm just commenting it out. Once we're done with this, I'll just hit Control S to save the snippet. The name could be anything. Text one dot sublime dash snippet. The extension should be dot sublime dash snippet. Otherwise, Sublime won't recognize this as a snippet. Once done, just click save and uh, move on to the previous tab. If I type box CSS and press the tab key, you'll see that it has expanded the code to the block of text that we specified into the content part. Um, but what if you want to make this snippet a bit of flexible because at the moment it has it has fixed values in order to edit these you'll have to go back and select each of them and um, replace their values if you want for example if you want to change the height to 200 and width to 150 that is something pretty tedious depending on how much changes you want 
into the snippet. So a better way to achieve this is by using tab stops. What tab stops do is uh, whenever you expand a snippet, it allows specific sections to be highlighted on the press of your tab key so that your cursor jumps to specific areas that you have identified as tab stops and um, from there you can add any value you want so for example if i want to make this background color to be editable whenever i expand this the main part of tab stop is uh, a dollar sign followed by curly braces and inside these curly braces i'll the number of tab stop i'm working on in this case this is the first tab stop i want to stop at and uh, optionally i can write in a placeholder value just to give uh, the user an idea of uh, what kind of value he can input then if i want the user to be able to edit the height and uh, width of uh, this class i'll do the same and uh, number them as i want so just for the sake of an example i'll make this three and make this one two so what this will do is when i hit the tab key first time it'll stop over here and highlight this part the second time i hit the tab key it'll stop over here and uh, on the third tab it'll allow me to edit this part as well so let's just save this and uh, move on to the uh, previous tab where we'll type our uh, snippet which was box CSS and this time you can see that the value of the background color is highlighted I can go in and type whatever I want then press the tab key it allows you to edit the uh, width value so you can type uh, 500 once again if i hit the tab key it moves on to the height part i can again go in and type 500 uh, finally when i hit the tab key it moves out of that block this is how you create different snippets in sublime so this is basically what snippets are in a nutshell if you have any questions or feedback, just feel free to comment below. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Just know that your feedback is very important for me to make these videos more helpful to you guys. I'll appreciate if you share your feedback with me. If you find this channel useful, you can always subscribe. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks.